Welcome to UGC EPG Partshala Lecture Series in Computer Science. In this series of lectures, we have been looking at a paper database management system. For today's session, we will be looking at database manipulation transparencies. The learning objectives for today's session include several searching conditions, set membership values, pattern matching and null set condition. To start with a range search condition, if you compare this range search, there should have been a start and there will be an end which will be defined. If you look at what I have lastly explained, that is a compounding condition where either this or that should have been indicated. Now in this, I define my limits where my natural languages or my query is list all staff with a salary between 20,000 and 30,000. So, anybody who is drawing a salary between 20,000 and 30,000 should have been listed for this. How do I write my SQL syntax for this? Select staff number, F name, last name, position, salary from staff table where salary between 20,000 and 30,000. So, I introduce a value of between 20,000 and 13,000 where it is all user defined. So, this between test includes the end points of the range. Many a times as an end user, I might have a confusion whether a value of 20,000 as a round off value and a value of 30,000 as a round off will be included as part of my execution or as part of my output. So, in such cases, I will change the entire range. So, as part of my table, this is the exact output that we would get 30,000, a person with staff number SL21 would be retrieved, another person who is drawing a salary of 24,000 would also be retrieved. So, as such our range stood be between 20,000 and 30,000. So, we got only two complete records based upon this condition. But instead of using this between and and, we can go for another representation or notation also. Also a negated version not between. Between does not add much to SQL's expressive power and the same by use of between can be used in this manner also. So, instead of writing a between and another value, I can better represent with the same syntax, select staff number, first name, last name, position, salary from the staff table where salary greater than or equal to 20,000. So, it in obviously includes 20,000 also as its value and salary less than or equal to 30,000. So, now that we do not have a confusion of whether between will include 20,000 and another value also as an endpoint value. So, this is completely eradicated by, by saying greater than or equal to and less than or equal to which would fetch an useful range and will be useful for retrieving those values also. Another command which shows a set membership list all managers and supervisors who work for a specific department. So, this completely de is dependent on the position that a person or a staff holds in that particular department. So, I may have to select staff number, first name, last name, position from staff table where the actual attribute value is position. So, I am representing position in manager supervisor. These two are reserved words. So, I am putting it within single quotes manager supervisor. So, anybody who is holding a designation of manager and supervisor will be considered and will be listed as per the order of execution of the query. So, this includes staff number, first name, last name and his position, but this position should be purely manager and supervisor. 
to negate this set membership there is a negated version including not in the same can be in other way said as not in in does not add much to sql's expressive power and could be expressed this as the same could be expressed as whether select staff number f name last name position from staff where position equal to manager or position equal to supervisor if you look at my previous query where i have indicated list all managers and supervisors here it has indicated in manager and supervisor as its one of its value but the expressive power of sql has gone down because of projecting it as in in alternate case we may write it as position is equal to manager or the position can either be a supervisor so in is more efficient when set contains many values so when i represented with a value of in it is more expression when compared to representing with separate values of position is equal to manager or position is equal to supervisor now we will look at pattern matching values for an example find all owners with the string glasgow in their address so i am i am to supposed to find out list of owners who has uh, address string of glasgow from the entire table so there should be an address column that should be presented on the table from where anything that has got a syntax or a condition or a character list or a word list of glasgow should also be selected so select owner number first name last name address telephone number so these are the list of values that are to be presented from a private owner this is supposed to be a new table private owner table where address like this glasgow cannot be expected as such because it is not the only value that will be available in that column instead it will be part of the other characters so like i insert this there can be multiple characters so i introduce a percentage symbol notation and glasgow and there can be another list of characters that will be following this glasgow so i put another percentage and since it is coming as a, within a single quote which may have to be very specific so now look at the resultant of this particular query i have asked the sql query to present a resultant table with these five attributes so five attributes mentioned from the private owner table where the address should be like some word of glasgow should be presented before which there can be n number of characters or numbers and after which there can be n number of characters or numbers so but then it should somewhere include a word of glasgow so for that i have introduced a symbol called percentage before and after if i predict and say that glasgow is the about the end word so i can put a percentage in the beginning or following glasgow there are several characters that will be involved only there can be a percentage following glasgow so sql has two special pattern matching symbols one is percentage the other one would be an underscore so what does these two indicate percentage represent a sequence of zero or more characters whereas underscore indicate only for a single character in case i have left out with a single character it can either start with uh, b a or b h a so i can produce an underscore which will indicate for one character whereas percentage would indicate one or more characters so which is mostly used for this kind of a pattern matching so like percentage glasgow was a operator or or the uh, was the query that we have used in the previous sequence means a sequence of characters of any length containing glasgow so anything previously following it and subsequently using it in the and we will be looking at null search condition now list 
details of all viewings on property PG4. So, there is about to be a property named PG4 where a comment has not been supplied. So, there are two viewings for property PG4, one with and one without a comment and we will convert that have we have we may have to test for null explicitly using special keyword is null. So, we introduce another keyword which is called is null, how is this to be introduced? Select client number and view date from viewing table where the property number should be easy, equal to PG4 and comment is null. So, I am asking the SQL query to present either with null value and one without a null value. If suppose a first table has to indicate one with a null value, then I may have to present a condition as where property number is equal to PG4 and the comment is null. So, this will list a value of properties which are belonging to PG4 and its associated comment. If I replace this by comment is not null and, and another list of table which is again with PG property number PG4 with not null constraints. So, this table can also be replaced with a table value. Say select client number view date from viewing as a with null table and without null table. So, again a condition need to be included. Client number view date has been mentioned. So, as a negate condition to introduce not into it is not null can test for non null values. Other operator that we have introduced in the syntax is order by. So, now that we will look at how this order by is being used within this list salaries for all staff arranged in the descending order of salary. So, I may have to present the topmost salary in the beginning followed by the least salaries or the less than salaries from the salary table. So, I may have to say select staff number, first name, last name, salary from staff table instead of a where condition that we have been using so far, I will be introducing an order by class where salary is descending, DESC is a description for descending. So, that will list all the values of the staff table with the salary in the descending order. Likewise, I can also indicate ascending ASC which will indicate all the values in ascending order. Now, we can have in the previous constraint we have indicated on a single column ordering. Now, we can have multiple column ordering produce abbreviated list of properties in order of property type. So, if suppose for this type of a query select property number type rooms rent from the property for rent table order by type. So, which means I have a type value or I have a type value which starts with F as its alphabet, first come F, then it will be listing with H and rooms are not an issue here, rent is not also an issue here. I have asked you to project only property number type room rent. If suppose rooms are to be arranged in the descending order, then I would have introduced in the query rooms order by rooms descending or room rent descending, but I have introduced order by type. Then in that case by looking at the fast alphabet it will be arranged. Four flags in the list as no minor sort key is specified system arranges these rows in any order it chooses. So, it arranges in order of rent specifying minor order, select property number, type, rooms, rent from property for rent table, order by type and rent 
descending. So, to the previous table I have arranged flat then comes house and the rent variant been aligned. Now that I am asking the type also to be arranged along with the rent in a descending fashion. In this case, I have a list of properties with the type, room and rent being given in the descending fashion. So, first starting with flat which has a descending list of values, then comes house which has a descending list of values. If you compare the previous notion of the table and the current notion of the table where single column has considered only flat arranged in the order and then followed by house, but then the rent was not aligned. But by introducing this SQL command of order by type comma rent in descending fashion, flat was arranged in any order. Now, the flat has been converted to a descending fashion and followed by house which has been given in the descending fashion. So, this is called a multiple column ordering. Now, we will look at the select statements aggregates. International Standards Organization defines 5 aggregate functions, one with count which returns a number of values in the specified column, the second with sum which returns a sum of values in the specified column, the third one is average which returns the average of values in the specified column, minimum returns the smallest value in the specified column and maximum which returns the maximum largest value in the specified column. So, these list of values are said to be the aggregates as defined by the ISO standard. Now, we will test each and every aggregate within the SQL syntax. So, each operator on a single column of a table and returns a single value. Either it could be count, minimum and maximum, it applies to numeric or non-numeric fields, but sum and average must be used on a numeric field only. If you look at sum and average that can only be applied on a numeric value, say 1 plus 2 plus 3 an average I can check on 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3 or sum 1 plus 2 plus 3. So, this should happen only to a numeric value whereas, count minimum and maximum can be used either on a characters or on a numbers. So, that is why we have mentioned it as it can be applied to numeric or and non-numeric fields. Apart from that count star each function eliminate nulls first and operates only on remaining non-null values. So, count star counts all rows of the table regardless of whether nulls or duplicate values occur. So, if I want to count how many tuples exist or how many rows in exist in a particular relation, I use an operator of count star whether it may include duplicates also. If you can recall, I have indicated one table with a list of duplicates. So, PG14, PG4 where the duplicate values that got distinctly presented by using the syntax select distinct star. But now that I wanted to count the total number of records that is available in my relation, when I use an operator of count star, it will indicate say 5 list of values rather than saying only 3 with the previous table I am mentioning. If suppose it lists all the 5 values, we cannot come to a conclusion that all the 5 values are distinct values. So, count star lists you with nulls, it even lists you with duplicates as it occurs. So, it can use distinct before column name to eliminate duplicates. So, you may have to use distinct as part of the select statement, then you go for the count star statement. So, distinct has no effect with minimum and maximum, but may have with sum and average. Aggregate functions can be used only in select list and in having class. If select list includes an aggregate function and there is no group by class, select list cannot reference a column out with an aggregate function. For example, we cannot use it in the same format select staff number count salary from staff. 
how many properties cost more than rupees 8500 per month as a rent to represent this we may use it like select count star as my count now that i want to store this table as my count table from property for rent table where rent greater than 8500 so it will count the total number of values that is available by checking at a constraint of 8500 more than 8500 from a property for rent table and the numbers alone will be set say maybe 5 properties that will be more than 8500 rupees that will be separately stored in the my count table. So, the ultimate resultant of this particular SQL command will be of this format my count is 5. As previously said, we may have to introduce on count distinct also. Count as such may also include null values, may also include duplicate values. Now that we may have to project it as distinct values. So, how many different properties viewed in May 4, in the year May 2004? Say select count with distinct property number as my count. So, here we are putting it very specific. Compare between the previous query and the reason uh, presented query. Previous query had count of star and the present query has distinct property number as my count from viewing where view date between 1 May 2004 and 31st May 2004. So, my count has now reduced to 2. If you look at the previous query, the result was 5. Maybe that would have indicated either null or duplicate values. Now that by projecting this distinct value, we have come down from a value of 5 to 2. So, how to use the, value, uh, the commands of aggregate functions of count and sum? The query for this would be find number of managers and sum of their salaries. Select count staff number as my count, sum salary as my sum from staff where position is equal to manager. So, for counting staff number, please understand my query, find the number of managers and the sum of salaries. Sum of salaries has been direct, sum of salary, but that should be stored as my sum. But staff number from the staff number I may have to take out the position to be as managers. So, select count number of staff members who hold a position as manager in my staff table and that should be shown as my count. So, as far as the first line is concerned my count shows two people who are serving as managers who hold a position as managers and the, their total salaries are 54,000. Now, we will go for use of minimum, maximum and average aggregate functions. Find minimum, maximum and average staff salary. Select minimum salary as my min, maximum salary as my max, average salary as my average from the staff table. So, it creates three columns, one with my min, second with my max and third with my average. The first table shows the least salary that is available in the staff table. The second one shows the maximum salary that a person been getting in the staff table and the third one shows counts all the list of salaries that is available in the actual table, takes an average of that particular table and presents it here. So, we can even easily compare who has been getting the least, who has been getting the topmost in a company and we can even compare it with the average salary that people have been getting with. So, after introducing all the aggregate functions, now that we will be using group by functions. So, initially we have started with select from, then we have used a constraint uh, or a condition where, 
then we checked for order by now that we are going for a group by condition. So, use of group by class to get subtotals select and group by are closely integrated each item in the select list must be must be single valued per group and select class may only contain column names, aggregate functions, constants, expressions involving combinations of the above. So, select statement for this grouping operator all column names in the select list must appear in the group by class unless name is used only in the aggregate function. If where is used with the group by where is applied first then groups are formed from the remaining rows satisfying the predicate. ISO considers two nulls to be equal for the purpose of group by. In summary, we have initially started with search conditions where we have introduced between and and. So, instead of between and and because of the expressive power enormous power that SQL has got that could not be given between in the class of between. So, we have introduced less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. Then we have given examples of set membership functions. Then we have introduced pattern matching functions like percentage and underscore. This percentage is to indicate one or more characters and underscore is to indicate only one character. Then we have indicated on grouping it by descending fashion or ascending fashion. Then we have introduced 5 different aggregate functions count, min, maximum, average, sum and finally, we have talked something about the count values. So, the count could be on the total number of records that is available in the entire table. If we wanted duplicates and null values to be avoided then we may have to use count distinct in that. Thank you.